we all know Dan Ventrell was the Las Vegas Raiders team president for the past one year, that is starting from July 2021. However, as of this month, and this has taken fans by surprise, he stepped down from his position. His departure was announced in a statement released last Friday by Mark Davis, owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. But things only became clearer once Ventrell released his own statement. Here's what he had to say. First up, Davis's statement. According to Mark Davis' statement that came out on Friday, President Dan Ventrell had been fired. For what reason? He didn't elaborate. His statement was short and to the point, simply stating that Dan wasn't with the Raiders organization anymore and that there would be no further comment upon the situation at the time. The statement was posted on the NFL team's official Twitter account, with no reason for his termination provided. Next, Ventrell confronts Davis. However, when Dan Ventrell spoke up about the conflict between him and the organization that led to his sudden termination, fans were taken aback. According to Ventrell, he was fired as a response to a report he submitted to the NFL over team owner Mark Davis ignoring legitimate concerns that Ventrell brought up with him. What concerns, you ask? Well, Ventrell confronted Davis about a hostile work environment at the organization. Allegedly, Davis paid no heed to these concerns, to which Ventrell reported a complaint to the NFL. Ventrell expressed how he had confronted Davis about aforementioned issues, but when Davis ignored him and didn't respond, he went straight to the NFL. On Friday only, Ventrell sent a response statement via text message to the Review Journal. He began his statement by acknowledging his employment termination as president of the Raiders, emphasizing how he has spent 18 years of commitment to the Raiders and their success, both as part of the general counsel and as their president. Ventrell went on to express how seriously he takes his job and the responsibilities that come under it. Hence, when he received several written complaints from multiple employees about the hostile workplace of the organization, it was a matter of great concern for him, and understandably so. And now, concerns raised about Davis. Apparently, Mark Davis was highlighted as the main perpetrator of the hostile work environment and also engaged in potential misconduct within the workspace, something that propelled Ventrell to confront him instantly. However, much to our dismay, Ventrell reported that upon confronting Davis, he wasn't met with the kind of concern or acknowledgement he was expecting. Rather, Mark allegedly didn't even respond in a satisfactory manner, which Ventrell deemed unacceptable. When Ventrell later informed the NFL of Davis's less-than-adequate response to the issues at hand, he was fired in retaliation for raising said concerns. Ventrell went on to emphasize how he he stands by his decision even now, deeming it necessary for such concerns to be brought to the attention of the organization, especially since the work environment and the sanctity of its employees, several of which are female, was at stake. Ventrell ended his statement by reiterating that he'll do whatever he can to support the Raiders and the Las Vegas community, a community which is now his second home and will entertain no further comment for the time being. Up next, Ventrell's termination. Even more suspiciously, the Raiders didn't specify why Ventrell was let go at all, with no comment on his later statement either, which leads us to believe what Ventrell said, since there's no solid disagreement on the Raiders' part. All we have is the NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy's comment via ESPN on how the league was notified of these allegations only recently and that they're being taken seriously, with reassurance that the NFL will look into the matter as soon as possible. Ventrell's sudden departure continues to cause a sense of intrigue within the Los Angeles Raiders organization, especially since the organization has gone through a great upheaval since it moved from Oakland to Las Vegas in 2020. After the 2021 NFL season, prior to taking over the position on an interim basis, Ventrell was given the title of the team's full-time president. This happened after Mark Bedank handed in his resignation last July, primarily due to his desire for different pursuits, commitments with his family, and the completion of the Allegiant Stadium after nearly a thousand days of work. Previously, Ventrell served as the Raiders' executive vice president and general counsel and has been working with the team for 18 years. On to some other departures. It seems like this year just isn't in the Raiders' favor. In addition to Ventrell, they also underwent several business side departures of high-ranking organization members in the past year, such as Ed Villanueva, the chief financial officer, Brandon Dahl, the senior vice president of strategy and business development, and Araxi Grant, the controller, and vice presidents Tom Blanda and Mark Shearer as well. Apparently, the first three departed last summer because of what Davis called a concern of accounting irregularities. Not only that, but John Gruden, their football coach, who in 2018 signed a 10-year contract, handed in his resignation on 11th October after his email scandal. His tenure came to a prompt end when several emails of his were discovered where he made homophobic, sexist, transphobic, and overall offensive remarks, which eventually led to his resignation 
conversation. He apologized later, stating that he never meant to cause offense to anyone. Additionally, Mike Mayock, the general manager of the organization hired in 2019, was also let go in January. As a replacement, Mark Davis hired coach Josh McDaniels, and Dave Ziegler was hired for the position of general manager. And that's not all. The Raiders' chief operations and analytics officer, Jeremy Aguero, resigned last Thursday as well, after only seven months of being in office, as per a statement to the Las Vegas Review Journal. Now, for Davis's response. Dan Ventrell, 46, has served the Las Vegas Raiders organization since 2003 and was named president of the organization before last year's season after his promotion. He stayed in the president position for less than a year after replacing Bardain. Finally, when the Review Journal implored Mark Davis to comment on the allegations against him, he refused to do so once again, stating that he was aware of them but would not comment. He did, however, make some very targeted remarks towards Ventrell, which in hindsight, don't really make a difference to the concerns surrounding himself. The owner expressed to the Review Journal how he wanted to clarify one thing. According to him, Dan Ventrell was never officially president of the Raiders. He had only been the interim president ever since his promotion last year. Apparently, he was temporarily designated to the interim position only so the organization could determine whether he was fit for the role of full-time president or not. Davis emphasized that this was something he wanted to clarify. Ventrell was never the president of the Las Vegas Raiders, despite how there seems to be a public misconception that he was. Next, no response from the Raiders. Despite all these pointed statements, the Las Vegas Raiders have yet to respond to requests for comment on the situation. Ventrell, too, has been maintaining his silence after his bombshell of a statement last Friday. It remains unconfirmed why exactly Ventrell was terminated from his position, especially since there is no comment on the organization's part. Fans are inclined to believe Ventrell's stance based on the radio silence from the Raiders over such concerning accusations. Front Office Sports reported that Ventrell Ventrell's sudden termination is completely unrelated to the investigation that the Raiders launched last summer after these executives departed last summer, including Mark Bedane. Their departure was allegedly due to the overpayment of taxes for several successive years. The Raiders move on fast, though. They are reportedly looking for a new president already. Though we can't deny that Ventrell and Bedane both played major roles in the Raiders' shift to Las Vegas, it's a shame neither of them will witness the start of the team's third season in Nevada. Finally, some good news? Despite all this emotional and structural turmoil, the Las Vegas Raiders qualified for the playoffs last season for the second time in 19 seasons. Since Davis made the wise choice of hiring head coach Josh McDaniels and general manager David Ziegler, he did give some structure to the football operations department. And this seems to be the case with several sports organizations recently. Matchroom Boxing, the promotional company, has apparently hired Daniel Underwood for their global head of marketing and communications position, along with Alex Haynes for global head of content. Similarly, Newcastle United of the Premier League League have hired Chief Executive of the Saudi Golf Federation, SGF, Mahid al sorer to the board of the football club. Even the sports NFT, non-fungible token venture, Candy Digital, created by Fanatics, has added the founder and manager of Superlayer, the crypto venture studio, Kevin Cho, to its board of directors. And last but not least, Populous, the architecture and design firm, has hired Christopher Walker, Declan Sharkey, and Heather Story to its EMEA regional board, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. All in all, these back and forth statements from both Ventrell and Davis have fans on the edge of their seats, waiting to learn the truth about Ventrell's termination and the significant allegations against Davis himself. It's no secret the fans are concerned about the impact it'll have on the Raiders themselves, and we're all waiting impatiently for some clarity. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think could be the reason for Ventrell's unexpected termination? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.